Hi everybody, here we are again, and it's a John Bull Irish Stout. And we're here to talk about it. So, first off, it's a single can kitten kilo. That's the can. The label lifts off quite easily. So it's 1.8 kilogram of malt, pre-hopped malt. Just add sugar and water. Ingredients, barley in bold, malt extract, in brackets, malted barley in bold, water, close brackets, hop extract, dry yeast, in brackets, in sachet, otherwise you'd just drop it all over the floor, tea allergens in bold, so it's going to be gluten that's in the malt. comes with a lid on full of malt and under the lid sits the instructions that we completely ignore and the sachet that we took in the bin because I told you before I always use reuse my SO4 yeast if, it start, if the yeast starts to go a little dodgy, I bin it off, get a new sachet of yeast. I'm going to put the glasses back on then, doing some more reading. Would have been a mistake, wouldn't it? So, starting gravity, 1048 at 21 degrees C. Finishing gravity, 1014 at 21 degrees C. So, no change in temperature, no need to frig with the figures. Gives an approximate ABV of 4.619565%. Four we'll call it 4.6%. And it's a cost of £12.95 plus a kilo of sugar, about 65p. So that's £13.60 to brew. 40 pints. Not even going to work it out, it's cheap. Cheap as chips. Right. So. Black as a black thing, as it should be. You can just, when you look at the light, just about, just about see the light. But, it's a very deep red colour. So, one on the side, so you should just be out, about be able to make the light out, certainly at the bottom, deep, deep red, maybe even purple. And sort of purplish red, yeah, deep, deep, deep red. So, Let's give it a bit of a sniff. You do get a sort of dark chocolatey note on the nose. Yeah, not a lot, not a right lot. It's, it's beer in it. You don't. Yeah, you don't really sniff beer. You just drink it. Right, so. Let's dive in there. There's a slight sweetness to it, just ever so slight, with um, a dark chocolate flavour as well. So it dies into a burnt dark malt flavour standard stout really a 
right up front there's a little, just a hint of fruitiness. Sort of like um, a, a deep sherry fruitiness. There's a bitterness that, throughout that lasts as well, but it doesn't have a lingering, it has a lingering bittering flavour, but doesn't have a lingering mouthfeel. The mouthfeel dies off quite quickly, so it's lacking a little bit. It doesn't keep a head, but does just about keep a ring. It's still got a bit of a cap, but I've been swigging it quite quickly. And it does produce a little bit of lacing on the glass. That's quite good. Normally it's not as good as that. But, for a cheap as chips one, not bad. It's fairly good. It's only got... I would say a thin to medium mouthfeel. The big flavour hit up front disguises it a little bit, but as I say, that flavour dies off very quickly. Flavour, flavour gone. beer. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Once you've moved to all malt kits that supply twice as much malt, I've mentioned this before, this is 1.8 kilos. You can get kits that are 1.5 kilos. Produce the same strength of beer, you have the same amount of sugar. You're paying for water. I can almost swear that years back you used to be able to get kits that were one kilo kits and you added the sugar the kilo of sugar. They've gone up in price, they've gone up in size, but they're still a kit and kilo kit. So to make it look like you're getting more for your money, they've added water. So, I'm fairly certain, 30 years ago, you used to be able to get kits that were probably that big. One kilo of malt. And now, you've got the same, brewing the same sort of beer, 1.8 kilos rocket science is it? Something's added, it's not malt, it's there in the ingredients, water. Right, that's enough waffling, what about it again? No, I've already said that, because the all grain kits, not all grain, sorry, the all malt kits are better. They do the same faffy tricks, I haven't seen, I've, no I have seen fairly sure I've seen some all malt kits bruised to the same amount of uh, same alcohol but they're like the more than one and a half kilo I think it's because the all grain kits are normally three kilos of malt and I think I've seen them at 3.2 kilos possibly even more so again they're just adding water to them you know, or not evaporating it off as much. They might say that preserves some more of the hop aromas. Possibly does. Who knows? But you're paying for water. Right. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Wake up Bye. After night. Sunshine was my face. Sitting up and looking around, my mind is lost in space Still lying in my 
jeans They stink of fox and beer Trying to remember last night How the hell did I get here?